everybody welcome to the latest video i just couldn't resist posting a video all about web's latest discovery the most distant galaxy that we know of so what's it all about hopefully i'll tell you What are we looking at? Of course, we're looking at a galaxy, and it's taken from the deep field that James Webb Space Telescope returned just uh, beginning of the week. And you can see this wonderful uh, galaxy cluster with these background galaxies way, way off in the distance being gravitationally lensed by the um, galaxy cluster in the foreground. Absolutely amazing. But of course, as well as all this distortion that's going on with the background galaxies, this also contains a lot of information about other galaxies. It may not be gravitationally distorted, might be magnified, but if you look closely, they are some of the most distant galaxies ever seen. So we have to look a little bit closer into the image. Well, not right in the centre of the image, but just over to the left-hand side here. And just close to these galaxies here, you can see that tiny little red blob just left of center there. There it is, and that's the galaxy in question. Well, if I've got the position right in the image, I think I have, but somebody may correct me. This is the galaxy, Glass Z13. It's highly redshifted, so it's in the infrared, so it's never been seen before, and only the Webb Space Telescope has been able to see it. So what are we looking at? That light has been traveling across the universe for 13.5 billion years. So we're seeing it as it was 13.5 billion years ago. Of course, the universe wasn't made that long before then. So we're seeing it about 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang occurred. This is just absolutely mind blowing. And that's 100 million years further than the most distant galaxy we've been able to see before. And that, of course, was from the Hubble Space Telescope. The galaxy itself is about 3,000 light years across. And to give you some sort of um, scale to judge it by, it's around about 27th magnitude. But don't think from an Earth-based telescope you're going to do a really like long exposure to be able to reveal that because don't forget it is highly red shifted it's in the infrared so you really do need an infrared telescope like the web space telescope to be able to see it well i hope that's helped explain what we're actually looking at here and why i am so excited about these great latest results of course this is only the start of web's discoveries what else is it going to uncover and revolutionize about what we know about our universe over the next 20 years of its lifetime? I just can't wait. Catch you soon. Bye, folks.